Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mercy with DiscountLowVoltage.com and today we're going to take a quick look at the eCore 960 DVR. This is the latest eCore model that's on the market. Now there is also the higher end DVR by Everfocus, the HD setup. So you might want to check out this DVR in a separate video, but today we're going to check out the eCore 960. So here's a quick look at the front left side of the DVR itself. We have the burner built into it and before we go any further, the main difference between the eCore 960 compared to their traditional eCore units is this newer version DVR provides WD1 capability. So you're able to record higher resolution 960 by 480 compared to the older DVR that was recording at 704 by 480. Now there is the IR here for the remote. There is a remote control included, so you can go ahead and control the panel that way. There's also a USB here. There's one on the back that you would plug your mouse that's also included to the front or to the back. You might want to just put a USB and probably just leave it in there. So that way it's always there when you need to copy footage. Boom, there it is. Here's the right side, you got your view, your play, your stop, your monitor, display, your zoom, there is a built-in zoom per channel, and you would press your menu button, everything would pop up on the screen, and uh, here you go, power's turned on, record, network, alarm, HDD, okay, here's a shot from the DVR at the monitor, I don't have any cameras plugged in, it's just camera 8 right now, but you press the menu button, let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit here so you can see a little bit better what we have available. There we go. So you have the playback, the PTZ controls. You can do it on the DVR itself. I'm not using the mouse or the remote, but you can also do all of this with the mouse and with the remote. You have your layout here. move the channels around there is the display sequence sequence built in monitor you can go ahead and change that around a little easier that way there's also a zoom that's built into the DVR the search button copy your configuration your logout and your configuration you dive into that and that's where you have quite a bit of uh, this is basically where all the bells and whistles are buried where you're gonna want to go ahead and play with but in a little bit we'll plug in the a patch cord to the back of it so we'll log in through the LAN and we'll get a better look at that so here's a quick look at the back of it you have your alarms you have your in and your out for all 16 channels you have your output, which is an HDMI, VGA, or BNC monitor. You have your Ethernet port. You have your USB. That's the second USB where you can plug your mouse, and, or maybe you want the mouse in the front. You have your eSATA. You can add one of those in case this hard drive is not enough storage for you. You can add additional storage that way. There's also an audio in and one audio out. All right, let's go ahead and plug the patch cord into the local area network. This mouse is included with this DVR. Okay, so we're back at the DVR. And after we've plugged the patch cord in, let's go to configuration. And we will go Let's see, here we go. Okay, the, let me zoom this in a little bit here. There we go. Okay, so the, this DVR, when you plug it into the LAN, it automatically gives an IP address. The DHCP would be the network type. So this IP address, the 192.168.0.159, we're gonna wanna save that and punch it into our local area network. Now, you might want to, you're 
probably it's recommended to set up a static IP address. So you're going to want to go ahead and check out EverFocus free DDNS service to set that up. Because if the power goes out, then there's going to be an issue with the, you're going to need a new IP address. Or it's in long term, it's going to be easier if you just do it that route. But just for demo purposes and so we can check everything out through the LAN, we're going to hook it up through DHCP, which we didn't do anything. I mean, the software just did its thing. So let's go ahead and copy this number and punch it into the LAN. Okay, so we're back at the workstation here. Let's go ahead and type in that IP address 192-59. Okay, so through the local area network, that's what it will look like, and this is also what you'll see over the intra web. You have your this is your live feed and of course we have a blue screen which shows us video loss and it'll be like orange outlined uh, as far as if it was uh, picking up some motion through recording time the you can split the screens up here in case you have uh, want to get a better look at four channels you can also mute the audio and take a quick snapshot of what's going on the next option here the express this setup this would be this is a great tool in case you have many um, maybe there's separate employees or different administrators that log into the system this is a great area here where you can quickly take a look at the way the computer network is set up uh, I'm sorry the DVR if it's recording event only or if it's also doing normal plus event recording so you can go ahead and kick that around play with that a little bit there uh, camera you have your basic settings you can move it from camera to camera rename the cameras uh, you can play with the normal plus event or event only on you can separate that too per channel so maybe you have normal plus event for camera 10 but camera 1 you want to keep it to where it's event only you can do that so that's a nice feature to also extend the hard drive time you can play with the resolution record quality maybe uh, you want to turn it down to just basic that will also help to extend the DVR recording time then you'd save your changes success whatever you want to do there video adjust you can also do that select your camera and then you could play with the brightness and also the contrast and the color depending on the cameras you get some of the cameras there um, some models it's right out the box plug it looks fantastic and you'd play with it here there are some of the higher end models that have many features on them they have a menu built into the camera where you could play with the um, backlight compensation you play with the, the the lens there's quite a few bells and whistles so if you're a expert a contractor installation guy that's probably what you're used to if you're a noob you might want to just pick up something that's a little more easier to set up the motion you have your you can set that up here video loss record and play record overwrite that's just how it's saved so the oldest footage will start getting deleted as soon as the newer stuff starts just overtaking it timestamp you can turn that off or move it to the top or to the bottom you have a built-in calculator the maybe you want to play with this around a little bit maybe 12 hours a day you're playing with motion no hours for the alarm and it'll estimate it five days of data can be stored okay but don't forget notice this result is for reference only the alarm plus the event you also have your scheduling here with the DVR you can do weekends holidays you can play with it that way or you can really nitpick it with the schedule and you can change it around from camera one to 
whatever camera. So maybe you have, uh, if you're a retail establishment, maybe on holidays or certain days, only a couple cameras are actually in use. Maybe the ones outdoors, nothing inside. You can play with it that way so you can also stretch that DVR recording time. The network, here we are. We have this is what we set up, and I think we talked about the uh, static IP address. You're going to want to go ahead and set that up with Everfocus through their uh, DDNS setup, which is a free feature, which is pretty cool. They have the instructions to help walk you through it here. And there's quite a bit here, but feedback from peep contractors and end users installing this it seems to go pretty smooth so i haven't heard any hiccups or anybody calling me to, with help at all it seems pretty straightforward the email address you can also set this up people's email and in case maybe there's alarm it'll send you an email letting you know uh, something happened so this is where you're going to want to select ever focus ddns dvr name and you're going to have to go ahead and check that out. Alarm, you have your remote for the mobile software. Your disk here, lock format. Your display. The system, time, time zone, daylight savings, user. Uh, you could put in, uh, you can't put in multiple users. I believe up to 10 users can view simultaneously over the internet in case you, maybe there's something that happened, everybody wants to uh, get in on it. You could do that. And there's also, back to the users, there's also different uh, uh, restrictions. I believe there's three different tiers that can, you can set up. So maybe the owner can set up admin, but the managers can have a lower tier to where they won't be able to access everything. This is for the PTZ. Those are the protocols that'll work. The PTZ camera, the controls are built in right here on the system. You have your focus, your zoom, your iris, and punch in the channel go uh, if you have multiple DVRs. Another thing I want to mention, the controls are also built with the uh, on the front of the DVR itself. And you can also move it with the mouse at the DVR or with the remote. The copy feature, you can select which camera to copy. And here's a quick way to do the, maybe you just want the last 60 minutes or the last 10 minutes. Maybe something just happened. You thought, oh man, I got to get this right now. So copy at the DVR. Let's apply that. Success. I have the USB plugged in there still uh, I'm not sure if there's anything to record here we go we'll see what it comes up with but while it's copying let's go over some of the other features that uh, maybe we haven't gone over here uh, looks like this has dual stream capability which is pretty cool because you record uh, the 960 footage but over the web you're gonna record at a lower type of um, it, it's gonna rec it's gonna show a lower quality image when you view over the internet because that'll help you view everything nice and smooth instead of it being choppy you have your ptz built-in burner looks like we went over that uh there is another thing here that's pretty cool you could use integration with free power video plus cms for multi-site viewing okay let's just quickly get out of here 
So on the EverFocus website, you have your mobile focus. This is where you can get the app. This is a free version. There also is a mobile focus plus, which has a little bit more bells and whistles for the uh, apps. The central management software, this is actually pretty cool. If you have uh, multi-chain stores and you don't want to log into all kinds of different DVRs, you can bring up to, let me take a look here, specifications. You can tie in up to 20 DVRs all together on one screen up to 128 cameras and this is uh, I believe the software is free by Everfocus so that's a pretty cool little add-on that they offer okay this is how we would search for the footage you can do a time search pop in the calendar what day event search you can go that route and select whatever camera you might want to use. There's also the smart search. And I think that's kind of a, I, can't, I think that's it. I just wanted to give you guys the feel, uh, the overview of the GUI when you view over the LAN. I don't think there's anything recorded on this DVR, but we did record, we did press copy to the USB that was plugged in to the DVR. So let's just, just want to let you guys know what the player looks like. So we're opening the USB, and with the footage, EverFocus, uh, it, it just embeds their own player with the footage. So, and let's see, click the file. Now, if we had, maybe you had it set up to motion only, there'd be multiple files in this bin, but we don't have, um, we don't have multiple files, and looks like we, we were recording, but just nothing. It was just set up to go. So this is what the player looks like. Okay, so there it is, the Ecore 960. Hopefully this video made you feel a little bit more comfortable with the GUI. This does have a lot of bells and whistles to it. Check out the manual, go through it, spend a little bit of time to see what else this unit can do. But over the past few years, the EverFocus, the Ecore series, this thing has been like bulletproof from the manufacturer. It's uh, It's got a lot of features for the price. So. For pricing and all that other good stuff, check out the web store, discountlowvoltage.com. Now, if you need something that will record higher than 960 resolution, check out our other YouTube video on the HD DVR. If you have any comments, leave them below. And don't forget to also subscribe to the channel and like us and all that other good stuff. Thanks. Later.